everyone. We, this is our time for science. Tuesdays we do science. And today, since we're doing the letter G over here, we're going to do something that starts with G, which is germs. Now, if you're in my Fox class, you know that we've done this germs thing before, but we're going to do it again. Okay, let's talk about germs. Now, germs can get into your body and make you sick. Mm -hmm. And when they get in, you know what, what they want to do? What? Make more of themselves. Okay, so they keep making more. So if you get a blue germ in, he's going to make more blue germs like this. Now, when you're born, your body doesn't know that that's a germ. Na, 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 na. And, but your blood has these little soldiers. They're called white cells, okay? So this is a white cell soldier. I know he's green or yellowish, but he's, we're going to pretend he's white and he's in your blood. And he's just kind of, oh, look at there. And he keeps on going because he doesn't know those are bad. And so, but then when you're a baby, you get some shots, don't you? And it hurts a little bit, but what it does is it teaches this guy that blues are bad. And he says, oh, that's a bad one. I'm going to get it. Oh, okay. You want to help me with this? Okay. And this is my tennis. We made these with tennis balls and you can push them. I want to do what this one is. Oh, okay. You want to do this one? Uh -huh. Okay. Since he has little cool eyes. Now you like the eyes on that one? Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes... Other germs that are kind of like that show up, and he says, huh, they're blue. They're a different color of blue. You know, let me have you that. Ah, ah, ah. And, but I'm going to get those too. So he starts getting all the blue germs, which is good, because this might be almost the same, but he's still getting it. Well, okay. then another germ shows up. Huh, green. And, huh, green. Not, my, not what I'm supposed to get. And he, get, he still goes after the blue. But then you get another shot. And this one is going to be for the mumps, measles, and rubella. So here's mumps, measles, and rubella. And so once he gets that, he says, okay, i got to get those green ones. And of I, course, I get to put all the blue ones. Well, we, we're going to work together, and we're going to get all the blues and the greens. And you guys can do this at home. You can, if you have a tennis ball, you can make it. And it really works good to strengthen those fingers. Um, but you can make it, and he's going to, ah. He eats it. Kind of looks like Pac-Man, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you think it looks like Pac-Man? Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. I forgot to eat the green germs. Well, right Come now, on. there is a new germ. And it's right here. And, it's, and it, it makes a lot of itself really quick. So, and he says, huh, look at that. Oh, well. And he doesn't get them. And he just gets But you know what the problem is? What? We don't have any medicine to teach him. That that's what that those are bad. This you might have heard of. It's called Corona virus, or um, another word I'm is just and another word is COVID nineteen. And so he looks at it, he says, "Hmm, pretty," and he just goes off. He doesn't know that those are going to make uh, make him sick. So these guys, you know where they came from? Where? They came from China, and it was it's so sad. There's poor people in China, and they don't have enough to eat, so they eat bats. Ew. And bats have a lot of different germs in them that we're not supposed to eat. And those poor people don't have the Bible either. A lot of them don't know that God said, don't eat bats. All right? So they're eating the bats, and it, making the, and it started making these, and thousands of people got sick. You took mine? Okay. I switched. But we don't know. You. Know, we don't know. Um, and it starts spreading and spreading. And since we don't have the medicine for it yet, we have to stay away from it. Okay? We don't want to get near those. So, how do you think you get germs? Uh, you, you cough, and if you touch someone else, you, they get sick. That's right. You, when you spread germs, oh, let's get a little bit of flour. Mm -hmm. Oh, moms, we're going to need a bowl of water. And some soap. And some soap. We've got this right here. Dish soap works good. And black pepper or any kind of uh, spice that's going to float on the water, like par dried parsley. And uh, that's all we need there. And a flower. And the flower is optional. You can also do this with glitter, but I didn't want glitter everywhere in my house. All right. So let's pretend we're going to, here, you want to sneeze with? Mm -hmm. Okay. Stop playing with those. Put this in your hand. Ready? Ah, uh, choo! Oh, look at that. Look what I made. We 
have germs everywhere. And it's all over the table. Okay, okay. So this is why I tell you, don't cough into your hand. You cough into your elbow. Can I try this one? Well, if you, what happens? You put it down and it gets a little bit there. So if somebody else comes along and they touch it, they get on them and they start rubbing their face or something. So this is the bad thing. These are germs. And we especially don't want to get these uh, corona uh, because we don't know how to take care of We don't know how to deal with them. How do you think the best way to deal with that is? Uh, hmm. Get medicine. Well, getting medicine is a good way, but we don't have the medicine yet. So that's why we're staying inside. These guys will die after two weeks. Okay? So we're trying to let everybody... If, you know, stay inside, if we all stayed inside for two weeks, then they would die because there's, they're not spreading it around. But look at all the germs here. I'm cleaning up with my pom-poms. Okay. But another way to get, if you go to the store and you touch something, you can get it on your hands. Okay, enough, enough. And, but one way is to clean it, clean your hands. So get out your bowl of water. Okay. And we're going to put some... Of that. Yeah, this is black pepper. Can you sprinkle the pepper on it? Just a second. Okay. okay. Sprinkle the pepper in. Okay. There's a lot of germs in there. Okay, that's, that's that's probably enough. That's probably enough. That's a lot. Okay. Are you guys putting the pepper or the spice into your bowl of water? All I'm right. put the soap in. Now, what we're going to do, hey, put your finger in there. See if anything happens. Nothing. Oh, you got it stuck to you, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why, see, germs stick to everything. All right, now I want you to put one squirt of soap, one squirt of soap into the middle of the bowl. Just one. Oh, or, for this one. Okay, okay, just one. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> what happened? Did you guys do it? When you put the soap in, huh. then all the germs run away from it because the germs don't like soap. And so that's why I've been telling you guys to wash your hands. Okay, put it down, put it down. So you've got the soap on your hands, which is good. All right, we're going to pretend to wash our hands, okay? Okay. Get your hands wet. Oh, you sneezed. You got more germs on your hand. You're going to need to. Yeah, that's what you have to catch it in your elbow, okay? Because nobody touches your elbow, do they? Yeah, no. All right. Um, so we're going to get get your hands wet, and let's get some soap. Here, put your hands up. All right, here we go. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands all through the day. Scrub the palms and rub the backs. Go between the finger cracks. Scrub the palms and rub the backs. This is the way we wash them. Now, some people sing happy birthday two times, but it's like, uh, I forget how many times I've sung it. Um, but the palm is right here. The inside of your hand is called the palm, and this is the back of your hand. And then you start the finger cracks. Yeah, that's the cracks that go between your fingers, isn't it? So we want to get all of that, and then we're going to dry it off. Uh-oh, I have a sneeze. <coughs> oh, two sneezes. Now, if I go out to the store, I'm going to put on gloves, okay? Okay. And... I'm not going to touch my face or anything because I might be touching germs. And then it would get on my face and I could get sick. So I put on the gloves and I'm very careful about what I touch. When I get back to the car, I pull them off. Oh, I got another sneeze. Where are the sneeze? It's probably all these germs. <coughs> I do remember that people said, used to say black powder, black pepper could make you sneeze. Evidently, it works because I'm sneezing. Yeah. Okay. So when you go to the store, you don't want to touch anything. And if you can wear gloves, that's good. That's Excuse good. me. You're in the way. Okay. So, and when I get back to the car, can you leave things alone, please? Okay. Uh, when I get back to the car, I get some hand sanitizer and put it on and make sure I get it all over. And when I get home, I take off the clothes that I was wearing out there and put, in, put on my home clothes. And that way I know that they're clean. Okay, so I want you guys to try to stay clean. So while we're waiting for the medicine, they're, they're working on making medicine for that. Well, they just haven't got it right yet. So while we're waiting for them to make that medicine, we are going to stay 
inside and wash our hands really good and try not to touch things if we go outside, okay? All right, so that is our science for today. If you want to, you can draw an outline of your hand on paper and then draw spots on it like, it, like the germs are. How's that sound? All right, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.